What's going on guys, Jason Frosto for TennisUnleashed.net. And in this video, I'm gonna take a look at Yannick Sinner's serve technique from 2021 and show you the differences and things he's changed for 2022. If you wanna find out what those technique changes are and how it's affected his serve, stay tuned because it's coming up next. All right, guys, so we know Yannick Sinner has changed his serve technique again, but what is he specifically doing in 2021 versus 2022? Let's take a look at the footage. Over here on the left is the 2021 footage from Indian Wells, which took place in the fall of 2021. And then on the right side of the screen, we've got US Open footage from 2022 just last week, right? So this footage is about a year apart. Let's break this down and jump into this. But first, shout out to 12 KGP Tennis for providing this footage. Check out his YouTube channel, awesome footage over there, and make sure you subscribe. So let's jump into this now and look at the first set of differences, and that's in the ready position on the serve. So what we see is the position of the feet right here. Huge difference, right? And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the position of his toe and how it lines up from the back foot to the front foot. On the right side here, the toe does not line up with the heel of the left shoe, right? On the left side of the screen, the toe of the back foot lines up right in the middle of the heel of the front foot. What does that mean? That means the stance and the position of the stance is wider here on the right than it is over here on the left. He has a wider base. The second thing that really sticks out here, right, is, is that he's hunched over with his body a little bit more, leaning forward a little bit more on the right in 2022 versus the one on the left here in 2021. So he's leaning a little bit more. Maybe he's trying to establish more rhythm. Let's jump in now and start taking a look at some other things that are going on here. So we see some interesting things just with timing. Look at over here on the left side of the screen already, right guys? He's already got the ball up in the air on the left side of the screen. It's left his tossing hand and the racket is lagging more to the right side of his body at this point, it's down and to his right. But if we look over on the right side of the screen, the 2022 footage, the ball is still in his hand at this point, and the racket is going behind him and back into his left. So it's in a completely different position than it is on this side of the screen in 2021, right? That's a huge technical change. And as we go forward from here, we continue to see that. So look at this here, right? Look at this. Tossing from this position here, head up, right? But look where the racket is compared to what we have over here. The ball is well off of his hand. It's two to three feet in the air at this point, right? And then the racket, again, is still off to the right where the position of the racket is. So what's he trying to do on the right side of the screen? In my opinion, he's trying to establish some racket lag, right? This, to me, looks very similar, and I'm not saying they're copying this, but they could be to Pete Sampras' old serve, right? Which Sampras has probably the best serve in the history of the game, so it'd be a great model to copy, but this position looks very similar to Sampras. Not identical, but it's darn close, especially compared to what he was doing over here on the left side of the screen. So let's let this play forward just a little bit more and look for more differences as he extends up and drops to the bottom of his knee bend. And this is where the wider base comes in. So remember in the beginning, we talked about the width of his feet and the back foot and the front foot? Well, that position matters here. So when you have a wider base like this, you're able to bend your knees more easily, right? And get into a lower position more easily when you start with a wider base. It just naturally lets you do that. So we can see the knee bend here on the right is much deeper than his knee bend over on the left. That position is significantly different from the right side here, the new serve, versus the old serve from last fall. He's getting a much deeper knee bend. So the width of that base, the feet a little bit wider apart, lets you get into that position easier and use your legs more efficiently. The next big thing that we see in this position, right guys, is the coil of the upper body. And that just means you know how much you're turning like this and what that position looks like. We're winding up and we're kind of corkscrewing a little bit more. We can see with the serve on the right side of the screen, he's coiled significantly more over here than he is on this side of the screen. And yes, these camera angles from the back are just slightly different and that can give a little bit of an illusion. But in this case, there is significantly more turn and coil and an effort to turn and coil on the right side versus the left side. And this reminds me not completely of but the bigger coil reminds me again of Pete Sampras. So they might be taking some components from Sampras' serve and trying to implement them in center serve. And that's not a bad thing to do, right? And again, if we look at this, the ball toss here in the right is nowhere near as high yet as it is on the left, right? So he's having to wait 
in this position, in the loaded ready position, the trophy position. He's having to wait here significantly longer than he is over here on the right. So the ball toss, right, also looks like it's a lot lower. If you look at the peak height of that ball toss, over here on the right, the ball toss is nowhere near as high as it is on the left. So another change that they've made, instead of having him wait in this trophy position, is they've shortened up the ball toss so he doesn't have to wait in his load as long as he did in the past. So there's another significant change. And then again, over here, guys, on the right side of the screen, we can see the racket still has not caught up on this side of the screen as it has on the left side of the screen, where again, he's still just kind of waiting and breaking the rhythm in that trophy position for too long. So this is still lagging. And the ultimate goal of lag, right, is like Pete Sampras in that sense, you want to have racket at speed and for the racket to act as a whip. So we'll just go forward frame by frame from here, see if we see any other significant differences. He's starting to launch and get into the ball. And at this point, right, the racket is now finally in a very similar position on the left side of the screen as it is on the right side of the screen. But again, look at how much higher the ball is over here compared to where it is over here at this point. And now we're starting to pretty much look the same on both sides of the screen, right? So now we can see everything looks very similar where the racket is dropping to here and over here. And this is something I haven't talked about with center serve in the past. This is something that he does that most of the big servers on tour do. Milos Ronic, who hasn't been on tour for a bit, but Andy Roddick from the past. And now I've talked about this with Riley Opelka, where the racket here, guys, flares out to the outside of the hitting hand. That's really, really important for racket head speed. A lot of huge servers get the racket head to flare outside of that hitting hand and hitting elbow right before they're leading up to contact. Let's go frame by frame again. And we've got contact here. And do we see anything different with his serve on the right compared to the left? when it comes to contact. The big difference that I see, and this is a small thing, but it's the actual position of the hitting arm and shoulder related to the ball here. And all that just means is he's creating a little bit more of an angle from his shoulder to his hitting hand to the ball, which is an important position. Again, a position that Sampras hit very well on his serve. And over here on the left, he's kind of doing the recreational player cardinal sin mistake, which is basically just reaching straight up as high as he can. There's almost no angle from the shoulder to the hand to the ball compared to the one over here. You don't want to be just reaching straight up. You want to be a little offset like this when you're actually contacting the ball. And again, in 2022 compared to 21, you can see he's hitting that position and he's now doing it. So there are a ton of changes that have occurred here in center serve. Let's go forward to the finish and we can see, right? Pronation looks basically the same, so I love the pronation here and the pronation here. It looks identical at that point. And he does what everyone should do at this level and even at the rec level, lands inside the court with the front foot here. And then when you land inside, the back foot should kick back to help balance you so you don't fall over on your face, right? So you need that balance, that counterbalance when you actually finish your service motion. But if we just go back to the beginning here for a second, let's run through everything again. That was a lot of stuff. We'll do it really quickly here though. We've got the wider base, right, with the feet. We've got the hunched over position here on the right compared to the one over on the left. And then if we go frame by frame again, guys, there's a significant difference in when the ball is leaving his hand. We've got much more racket leg on the right than on the left. We're getting a significantly deeper knee bend on the right, even though we have a much shorter overall ball toss height and difference. A significant ball toss height difference. We're getting a bigger coil, more tilt of the shoulders here from front to back, right? Technically just much better technique position. Somebody's been putting a lot of work into this serve. And then from here, guys, right? We're going up to contact, it finally catches up and things start to look a lot more similar now leading up to contact. We do have the difference here from the shoulder to hand to contact position, right? That angle is much different than the kind of straight up and down position here on the left. And then he finishes off the serve right there. So somebody on Team Center has been putting a ton of work into this serve. We're seeing a lot of difference. And commentators have been talking about this week at the U.S. Open, especially with his serve being five to six miles an hour faster. He's getting way more juice on his serve. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video on how Yannick Sinner changed his serve technique from 2021 to 2022. If you found this video helpful or you feel like you learned something today, make sure you smash it like and subscribe button. It helps this channel grow. I'm Jason Frosto for TennisUnleashed.net. 
I'll see you next time.